Hi, my name is Anne Carl and I'm a design team member for LuluArt 2017. Today I'm going to share my process with you, how I created my page titled Live With Promise. I start with a page of my favourite mixed media paper from Strathmore. I'm wanting a lavender background, so I make a mix of the Delusions crushed grape and white linen. Once I'm happy with the mix of colour, I apply it to my page with the brayer. This will create a really nice texture for me to dry brush on later. I'm a big fan of Tim Holtz stencils, so I choose three which I feel complement each other. I then load a soft sponge in the Delusions white linen paint and I apply the stencils randomly all over the page. Once it's nice and dry, I use my 2B pencil to sketch in half a face. I start with the bottom of the eye approximately 3 inches from the bottom of the page. The total length of the side I'm working on is 6 inches. I also have to be mindful how far in I start because I only want half a nose. I want to add some text to my page so I have to be mindful of her hair design. I don't want it to go any more than halfway across the page. So there'll be no flowing hair for this girl, I'll just do some messy little buns. I'm not going to block her face in a flesh colour, I'm going to leave it the lavender colour. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to use my highlights and my shadows to push and pull her features out of the page. I start building her highlight areas using the Liquitex white gesso for the first few layers. I mentioned the light texture that the Brea makes. This is where I use it to my advantage. I've taken a lot of the moisture out of my paintbrush by patting it on the paper towel before picking up the Liquitex. I then very lightly rub it over the areas that I want to build. And I'll go back and forth on these areas several times to build the intensity that I want. I'm happy enough for the moment with my highlight so I'm going to start building my shadow areas. I'm just going to load my angle brush in the Delusions Crushed Grape which is the colour that I use to form the background. The layers that I'm applying are quite thin and transparent allowing all that background colour and texture to shine through. As I did with my highlight areas, I take my time with my shadows and I work back and forth developing the intensity of the colour and also the depth of the shadow. I'm going to use two colours for her iris. I'm going to start by filling in with London Blue and then I'll come back and shade it with After Midnight. I use the chisel edge of my angle brush to tap in some lines into the iris just to add some extra interest. 
I use my circle stencil just to make sure that I put my pupil exactly in the middle of my iris. I block in the hair loosely with the Delusions black marble before making a grey colour just by adding a little bit of the leftover gesso I have on my palette. I like to create a little bit of movement within her hair and I break up the three different areas and also add some loose hairs to her bun. Fill in the pupil and create the eyebrow using the chisel edge of your angle brush with the Delusions black marble. I'll give her some pretty pink lips and some matching blush with the Delusions bubblegum pink. Again it's a building process, I'm only applying quite thin coats of the colour, building until I get the depth that I require. Start building her cheeks from the outer edge and drawing the paint inwards, that way you won't be left with any sharp lines. I make a mix of the black marble and white linen and create some shadows within her eye. Before beefing up the white of her eye using the white linen. I want to push back some of my darker areas so I add touches of after midnight. I load my fine liner in the Delusions Black Marble. You may need to add a touch of water to it. You're looking for a really nice inky consistency. As with um, creating eyelashes, you always start from the eye and you pull outwards to create each lash individually. I never outline my eye totally with the black. I like to see a broken line, but of course that's an individual choice. I also add a line to the top of um, each side of the iris. And now that her blush is nice and dry, I'll just add some wispy bits going across her face. I use the Delusions White Linen for all her final highlights. I want my girl to pop out of her page a little more, so I apply washes of the Delusion London Blue. I load my fine liner in the Delusions Black Marble and I create a loose freehand border. I decide to add two lines of my stencil and that is Live With Promise and Love With Passion. 
I fill it in with a sponge after I create a mid-tone of grey and then I'll go back and I've made a lighter grey and I've tapped that only into the top half of the stencil before tapping in the black marble to the bottom half of the stencil. To finish off and tie my piece together, I use a Tim Holtz dot fade stencil loaded with some bubblegum pink before adding a wash of the crushed grape to the outside border. Thank you for watching and don't forget for all your art supplies to visit luluart.com.au.